was um, three minor explosions that they heard and obviously being dark, um, seeing all your cabin lights go underwater and start to get murky and fade, you're getting wet, um, you don't know what's happening, where you are, whether you're upside down or back to front, I'd say it would have been terrifying. This is Wind News. Good evening. Good evening. The storms that pelted some parts of central Queensland last night have claimed an expensive casualty. Derailed after a flood washed away its track, the crew of an electric coal train spent almost five hours in their half-submerged cabin praying the water wouldn't wash them away before help arrived. From the west came the rain lashing the Blackdown Tablelands, the coalfields the coast of Yapoon just before dawn. Its legacy, swollen creeks and flash flooding. The rushing water washing away everything in its path. In driving rain in the dark of morning, a fully laden coal train approached this rail bridge near Blackwater. Its wicked structure giving way, plunging the multi-million dollar locomotive and its crew into the swollen waters. For the two drivers, a terrifying ordeal ahead, trapped in their cabin with the water rising. So there was um, three minor explosions that they heard and obviously being dark, um, seeing all your cabin lights go underwater and start to get murky and fade, you're getting wet, um, you don't know what's happening, where you are, whether you're upside down or back to front, I'd say it would have been terrifying. For five hours the crew waited a two-way radio their lifeline for help. That came as soon as the weather cleared, the Capricorn Rescue helicopter plucking the duo from the submerged cabin. Mick Reynolds um, coaxed him uh, out uh, onto the side of the um, turned over loco and uh, we put him onto the hoist, took him back to dry land, came back and picked up the second fellow. Three hours earlier, the train had used the same track to travel, but on its return fully loaded, there was no warning for the crew of the disaster about to overtake them. There was certainly uh, no indication to anyone that uh, we were going to have uh, severe washouts. The rescue service says both men were extremely lucky. The rising waters and electricity, a recipe for disaster. I wouldn't worry about buying a casket ticket. I think they've used up their luck for this 24-hour period, yeah. <laughs> Neither driver was prepared to talk about their ordeal today. For Queensland Rail, an expensive accident. Ahead, weeks of repair to the damaged track and the recovery of the stranded engines. In Blackwater, Majola Weemers, Win News.